Hi everybody, I'm Stefan for CG Tuts, and in this quick tip I'm going to show you a very cool free plugin that I found online for Cinema 4D which is called Maze Trace. Basically what the plugin does is takes your geometry of your object and creates a maze splinting which you can use a sweep nerves to extrude and make pretty cool shapes so without wasting more time let me show you what the plugin does so let's create a new let's see cone object for example let's increase the height segments to 12 and let's go to plugins and load the maze trace plugin and we need to take our object and make it a child of the maze trace and we need to select the maze trace in order to see what it looks like and as you can see this is what it looks like so far and uh, basically the spine depends of your uh, geometry and the segments you have in your object so let's increase this like crazy and if we select it uh, you can see the difference and you can increase this to 10 which affects as well the shape this is the maximum segment length so it's pretty straightforward as you can see if we play with it what it does and basically we can create a circle and let's reduce the radius to 1 and let's drop a sweep nerves let's put the maze trace point and let's put the circle after that and as you can see this is what it looks like and if we create another cone you can see that uh, it creates very interesting effect you can use this for creating some super high-tech stuff so let me show you another example let's create for example a platonic object and let's drop the maze trace here as you can see this is what it looks like by default we need to increase the segments to 15 for example and you can see the difference now and let's drop a circle let's set it to 1 and let's drop a sweep nerves and as you can see let's reduce this to 0.5 this is the result we are getting and if you create another platonic object you can see what it looks like you can create some pretty interesting sort of a alien high-tech stuff you can texture the platonic base with for example let me create a material for it which is pretty dark like that and let's drop it here and you can create another material which is uh, uses luminance and go and apply it to the sweep nerves and if we do a render you need to tweak the glow settings but you get the idea you can apply the glow in the post in After Effects or any compositing software that you're using to create uh, this type of effect you can take the sweep nerves and animate them to get a very interesting result as you can see it's pretty cool looking you can animate it and uh, let me delete this and show you another example let's create for example a capsule object and let me load the maze trace effect again and we have a point generator here so let's load this one and the point generator by itself doesn't do anything so you need to load the maze trace first and after that you need to take the point generator and make it a child of the maze trace and after that you need to take your object and make it a child of the point generator and if we select the maze trace you can see the effect so the basic idea is that the point generator randomly generates points over the surface of your object and the maze trace connects the points by creating this type of effect we can 
select the point generator and increase or decrease the number of points in order to control the effect we are going for so I think the default of 1000 works fine for this example right now we can create another circle here and let's reduce the radius to 1 and let's apply a sweep nerves and let's drop the spline profile first and after that the profile for the sweep nerves and this is the effect we get if we create another capsule here you can see what it looks like you can use this for example the first thing that uh, comes to my mind when I see it sort of a vein network or something like that you can uh, use a model of creature to create sort of a veins in some places so I think that it's pretty useful and helpful plugin it's pretty simple as you can see we have only a few properties here with but with some imagination you can create some outstanding amazing looking stuff so that's it for this quick tip hope you like it and find it useful I will include a download link for the plugin in the description down below so uh, feel free to download it and uh, play with the plugin and try some interesting stuff so once again I'm Stefan for CGTuts and we'll see you next time